In California, 12 statewide ballot propositions are on the ballot for the election of 2020. Here's what they are. California voters will decide on 12 statewide propositions on November 3rd. Measures that are on the ballot are politically powerful interest groups or lawmakers that cover a variety of topics, including property taxes, criminal justice, and workplace regulations. Proposition 14 is about borrowing more money for stem cell research. Proposition 15 would increase property taxes for businesses and corporations in California. Proposition 16 would bring back affirmative action, allowing race, ethnicity, and gender to be considered in awarding government contracts and deciding admission to states, colleges, and universities. Proposition 17 would allow parolees, those released from prison but finishing a sentence, to vote. Proposition 18 would allow 17-year-olds to register and vote in primary elections if they turn 18 by the time of the general election in November. Proposition 19 would allow all California homeowners who are 55 or older to purchase a new home and keep their property tax payment at the same level or newly reduced rate. Proposition 20 would place new limits on lighter sentences. Proposition 21 would allow cities and counties in California to implement even stricter rent control and policies. Proposition 22 would allow companies like Uber and Lyft to continue to consider their workers as independent contractors as opposed to full-time employees. Proposition 23 would increase rules for kidney dialysis centers. Proposition 24 would make changes to California's new consumer privacy laws allowing consumers new rights to limit the sharing of their personal information. Proposition 25 would eliminate cash bail while waiting for their trial. I just think it's important because it, it actually does affect our everyday lives and that's why you should, um, even if you think it doesn't, I think that's why you should research your propositions because whether you're on the side that the government you know, you're not oppressed by the government, then you may think, um, you know, this isn't important to me, but it is important to other people, which is why it's important that you do your research and you vote. It will affect you in the future. It will, because we are the future millennials and we are the ones, you know, in power because we have this right to vote as an 18 year old or as an adult, you know. For CBU TV, I am Diana Villa.